Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, the toy maker, has a kid's dad die and the mom buys a toy to cheer up the kid. <clears throat> this is the second time I've seen this. I actually hated this the first time that I watched it. So, let's see if my opinion has changed on it. Um, uh, the positives on the film are, it has Christmas decor, and, and I like that. Uh, I think it's a necessity to for all these movies to have Christmas decor, but uh, the third, fourth, the second, third, and fourth movie really don't have that. There's like one scene, while this seems much more full <clears throat> of Christmas decor than the other sequels. <clears throat> um, Harold's Kill is awesome. Uh, he has his eyes sucked uh, in the back of his head. Um, I honestly have not been able to talk about a good kill since the original. Uh, so it's actually nice to have a good kill again. Uh, and also one more kill that I, I think I kind of like is Pino's kill where he's a robot, uh, and he gets chopped in half and his head gets stomped. So, <coughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of invested with the characters and the kid's trauma with the dad. That was interesting. Uh, that was, uh, pretty cool. Um, don't know why, but I, I was just really interest, invested with these characters, uh, with, with these characters in the movie. Uh, so it, uh, kept my attention throughout the entire movie. Uh, and the last positive is I like the toy murder scene. Uh, it features cool murderous toys like, like a hand and a monster truck with one eye that's pretty cool it has a tank that shoots out bullets and army men crawling on the ground uh that was cool there's also a t-rex and a robot there's also a buzzsaw car i really liked that so the whole toy attack thing on the couple was pretty cool i really liked that so that's it for positives on to the negatives. Um, honestly, I don't know if the toys are supposed to be sentient or if they're being controlled. Uh, because the Santa ball um, that kills Tom and the centipede, centipede that kills Harold, I, I don't know if they're supposed to be alive or if they're being controlled. Uh, it wasn't exactly explained um, but maybe they're supposed to be sentient since, uh, Pino was a robot and he was built <clears throat> and, uh, he's alive. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they're supposed to be alive. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it wasn't specified in the movie. <clears throat> and the last negative only two negatives honestly uh, but this other one there was a hint of sound night deadly night 2 in the film the line santa claus killer uh can be heard on the tv in the background they don't show any footage but you hear that line and it's so weird how they incorporate it's so weird how they have incorporated the past movies into each movie as they've gone on. This is like the third movie to do that, to do something like that. Like, the second one showed the original film. That doesn't make sense. Uh, part four showed a scene from Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. This movie now shows a scene from Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. So, uh, it's just really weird it it's just so insane of how they keep on doing that but uh that's it for negatives um so in the end uh i kind of think this is the best sound night deadly night sequel uh i actually kind of dug the movie 
Uh, it's weird, and this is gonna... This is either gonna totally do it for you, or you will hate this thing. But I kind of enjoyed it. For whatever reason, I kind of enjoyed the movie. So that's my review on Sound Like Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. Thanks for watching.